Hello everybody, welcome back to Motorsport Manager. The Timix here, and we are now going to get set for the ninth race out of 12 in our inaugural season. And I thought it might be time to do a good little pick-me-up, sort of a progress update, big picture. This is actually the save from literally when I just had created the file for the career. And the design part screen is the best one. It's got the biggest view of your car stats to see this. Now the main thing we're looking at here, and I've alluded to this before, but I just want to take a closer look at it to confirm that we actually are making some progress. You look at the overall here, it's about 80% of the way up. The engine's at about 90% or a little higher, same with the spoiler, and we're at something like 60% on the brakes. And of course the arrow is the median or the average, what an average team has in each category. And so I just think it's worth looking at that to see, like, okay, this is where we started from. Now let's take a look at where we've gotten to now in the current point in the season. Okay, here we are. So this is where we are now. You can see the overall, not much changed. I think this is a little bit lower, but it's about the same. But look at the engine. It's almost down to halfway. So, I mean, we've effectively, at least at this particular point, it fluctuates up and down. But it looks like we've gone, we've count, we've covered almost half, not half, but between a third and a half of the difference between where we were before and the average competitor. Now, the brakes, we're actually up higher, but this is actually up higher as well. So there have been some top-end gains in the field, and we moved up a little bit here, but it looks like we've lost a little bit of ground there. Definitely gained ground on the spoiler, which was up like about here. So you can see overall, we're definitely better. And I just, it's useful for me to really keep that in mind because we are making progress. It's going to be frustrating early on, especially in this mod with the long time to design parts. We are gaining on the field and there's a path towards getting things more equal thanks to trying to make the right decisions and of course our new designer that we got at the beginning of the year Katya Blomquist. Okay so let's head back to our mail and see what we've got going on for the second race in Tondela. We have Canal Plus with Laurent Dupin Casino says her brakes are holding it back. Yep, got to work on improving them. I'm just, I'm going to bite the bullet. And okay, that hit our marketability. And close to our record again, we're, we're hovering right around that 13 second mark for our pit stops. And Morbidelli was the winner. We finished our brakes. So let's, okay, first of all, in Tondela, we're going to have... The gearbox be the key one, and then, yeah, engine and brakes. Okay, and I want to take a look at the parts that we have, because I think we're done with the spoiler, if I remember correctly. Because, yeah, we've got the 92 out of 131 for both of them, and we're working on getting that spoiler up. That's right, so we want to look at the brakes then next. And this was definitely the best one, so I think we probably want another one like that, if I remember right. Let's dive back in there. We had the improved tire wear efficiency, the improved deceleration, or the, wait a minute, we did this one, I think. Yeah, okay, that's the one we did, but this would make it even better. Yeah. So that's what I want. I want two that are like that. These are just the during race ones which don't help us. This is just during qualifying. Red zone minus 10% is nice, but not worth spending it on. So yeah, this is what I'm going to want. Two of these. 500k. And this is going to take, yeah, 21 days. Then we're going to need another 21 days to max it out. But hey, casino's whining about the brakes. This is going to solve that problem. And we're going to have plenty of money. So if we figure 21, 22 days for that, 22 days for the other one. So it's going to be late September and then towards the end of October. And then we're going to use the rest of the time to max them out. So that should take care of all of that. 
We're going to have pit crew stuff coming up, but at the moment, let's do those car repairs. Okay, so I think I want to, because we don't, we don't have any brakes that we want to use for the end of the year. So our current goal should still be to get that spoiler. Get whatever we can out of the engine. We're not improving those at all anymore because we don't have staff that doesn't completely suck assigned to it. But I want to get this one done. And once I get this spoiler up to 80%, which may or may not happen before the race, it's going to be close, then I'll switch back to the engines until we get that brake part in, then we'll start boosting that. So all of that is going to happen. This is how I want this set up. Let's take a look at our pit crew, who we're going to hire, who we're going to switch out, all of that fun stuff. Wood, expensive, 81, but 8 on the tires and 9 on the jack. That's a really good combo. Got a front jack, 83, tires and front jack. The only one that's really like high into the 90s, which I'd like, is Ramirez here, but a six on the front jack is the only thing he offers. I don't think we're going to go with that. And let me just take a look at what the quality of our tire people currently is. It looks like, yeah, I mean, I think we need, need to be in the seven to eight range to really help us. Wood is worth hiring, I think. Yeah. Simons is borderline. Let's see about our uh, the nine, our front jack people. We've got a Hernandez there at nine, but that's it. Could be a little bit better, but I just don't think that's enough. I'm just going to keep you around, but yeah, and Hollinsworth, you've got nothing that we care about. Goodbye. Simons, I'm going to hire you. And I'm just going to leave the other two around. Okay, so who do we want to swap out here? We definitely got to get Avellino out of there on the rear jack. Needs the race off. So who's going to replace them? We could just switch with Cronin. Or Yaus. I think I'd rather... Yaus isn't quite as fast but I'm still going to make that the switch. There we go. And leave Cronin out on the tires, I think, for one more. Let's see. Hackbarth we've got to get out of there. Peters is good enough to fill in for the moment. Although, yeah, let's get DeVos out there instead. Or wood. Well, wood could go in and actually plus one on the rear jack, but the the more fatigue is making me not really want to go in that direction. Leon here with seven on each of the jacks is potentially. We've got platen. I'm gonna hang on to everybody we have. It's not that much more money. Is we've got a lot of people who are really close to the same ability. I wonder if we can get... Yeah, we should be able to get somebody better than that 6 out there for Thurier. Let's see. Wood, maybe? Yeah, I'm going to put Wood out. There we go. And that saves us quite a bit. So now we're in the 7 to 9 range on all the tires. And I could... Again, I... Could put Peters out here, but the fatigue issue. So we're still at 8th. And I think very likely to stay there. Boy, Mitchell. Mitchell, I don't think you're providing anything anymore. No, let's get rid of you. And let's see, Thurier, you've got enough... You've got enough endurance. I, I just like the idea of hanging on a little bit longer as the emergency backup. So I'm hanging on to one more pit crew member that maybe I'd like, but 
I'm okay with where this is, and we'll happen to have a slightly faster pit crew this particular race. So I think we're ready to move on. More scouting. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. Let's take a look at where we're at now. Fifty-eight percent, and market ability would be ten higher after that ability, so sixty-eight percent. Pretty solid, just under three stars, and just a little bit too expensive. I'm looking at more of the two, two and a half people. Okay, we're up to sixty percent, not there yet. I think we're going to hit eighty percent just before, just about at the race. Okay. No more sponsor stuff this week. 12th. Tandela, and we've got four weeks left, okay, until the next vote. 39 laps, 3 miles, 10% chance of rain. Soft and medium. Not happy with the spoiler. Yep, we are behind. We are working on them. Come to you are the team to beat. Michaelis says championship isn't over. Knows he's got what it takes to beat Banani. Marahumola hoping for a increase. Just take a look at those standings. You can see Banani well ahead of Michaelis and DuPont there at the top of the standing. It's a pretty close race between those three, but Banani definitely the leader. And you can see that also in the team standings. Sebastian Loeb definitely taking everything right now. And dead last for us, of course. That's no surprise. Let's take a look with a couple days left. 75%. What do we have? More scouting. Too skilled as well. Ukyo Sasahara. 66% and smart. Adaptable and feedback. Just over two star. That could work. And we're going to go ahead and favorite them. Now, fitness and adaptability. I'm not a fan of some of these other things, but you get what you pay for. 81%. Okay. I'm going to switch there. Take that one out. Because we only want to work on the one engine. We want to max out the one first. And then worry about maybe improving the second one. We want to have... For design purposes, we've got to max out at least one engine. So, we're going to be looking at trying to boost this one up every little bit that we can get it. And, of course, the good news is we've got two improved spoilers to use. So, it's time to head off to Tandela for a second try there. Let's change our parts. Gain plus one point on that one. Um, where's our spoiler? Yeah. Let's switch that up. And they still figure us to be 23rd and 24th, naturally. Now it's going to be very hot. So, I've got to figure mediums for this. Let's see, 39 laps and high tire wear. Well, it's raining fairly heavily, too. How about that? I always want to check the lap ratings. 13 to 15, 24 to 26. So probably, yeah, two mediums for Casino. And then for Lahane. Well, Hayne might well be able to get away with a medium and a soft, but definitely mediums are going to be our focus. We're going to start out with heavy rain and then have more heavy rain. Looks like it's going to be an inters territory for at least a while, so yeah, we'll start out on inters. 
It's a good call, gentlemen. And let's see what we can do with our setup. Well, cornering looks right on the button for Casino. Average form or just a hair below. And we want to get this acceleration down to maybe there. I'm okay with that. What about Lahane? Well, we definitely want some more weight in the front. And then I think we probably want to drop that back a bit to about there. Let's get out on the track, boys. Both of you want qualifying trim, I don't agree. Spend the extra time to get that race trim rolling. Always important. 4, 5, and 5, 7 distinctly average. Looking as we come out onto the track. We're already in interest territory. It looks like it's going to hold very steady in high amount of water for inters, but not quite enough for wets type of weather that we're headed towards. And the temperature is dropping quite a bit. Yeah, it dropped 4 degrees Celsius in a minute. But we're looking at... It's going to dry out maybe a little bit there. But we're looking at an extended period. Yep, okay. The water will go away. So there's a natural pit point there that I'm just going to try to take advantage of. Just sit out here on these. It means we're going to be making a lot more... Um, hay on the race trim than we are on the tires because I'm not expecting to need wet tires for the race. Now Lahane saying there as I was blathering on about the weather and pit strategy Lahane saying the suspension struggling with a tight corner so he wants more oversteer. On the other hand Casino really liking the handling. You can see, though, it's getting a little bit high for enters, but not super high, and we're nearing the peak of the water here. I'm just going to speed this along until we get to a point where we can come in. Okay. Lahane driving very well, casino sucking. But Lahane liking the balance of the weight. Okay, too much weight in the front, though, for Casino. He wants more in the rear. Slow this down and back off to conserve both drivers. Casino's form starting to rebound, and Lahane holding strong. See how far we are away. Let's speed this up a little bit. Okay, Lahane also wants more acceleration. So I'm probably going to forget some of this stuff, but he wants more acceleration, and more, now the water's starting to go away. More acceleration, more oversteer. While Casino says, you know what? Let's shift some of the weight towards the back. Go for higher speed corners. like to get to level one on the inters. See, where are we on the... Oh, we're about to come. i got to decide this. Yeah, I think I want to come in. See what we can get done on the medium tires. Eighty-two percent, always a good first start. There's no indication of anything else, so we're going to stick with the race trim. We're going to switch over to medium tires. And yeah, 
the everything good for casino except he's like look it, we need more high speed corners I think about there let's tweak this a bit in favor of oversteer like that and then try to bring this back in line which would leave us yeah let's just see how that works Hain, what do you think? Doesn't look like you've got quite as glowing of a review. No, 69%. Which is more a bit below average. More oversteer. More acceleration. And then, let's go there. I think we want to bring this back a bit. Yeah. I like the look of that. And then, of course, switching the tires. So let's see how this works out for us. We are the first tires out, cars out on dry tires as we try to maximize that situation. I think we're going to get level one of the tires, level two race trim. Yeah, and that's all we're going to. That's all we can hope for. So Casino did not like the ballast changes, but Lahane did. Given where we're at, I'd like to stick out here and get that level 2 race trim and then make some changes, possibly get another reading on the setup. Lots of positive stuff, except Casino doesn't like the ballast. Neither driver exactly driving well at the moment. much in the front, but more towards the back. Didn't I just shift it to put more towards the back? I think we're getting wrong feedback there. But in any case, you can see our time's looking good. Because everybody else is still, they're still driving on inters, a lot of them. So they relate to the party on that. thing is, if we don't have, it's really weird that they're staying out there on those for the dry track. If we don't get, uh, like, if we don't get rain during the race, which said there was a 10% chance, so probably aren't going to, this is going to look really good for us in terms of being more prepared with our tires. So I'm liking that. And I think this lap, I'm going to wait and see, but I think what we're going to be looking at here as they come out on soft, some of them. It's a little late probably for them to do much with them though. But I think we're going to want to come in for this lap. And then see if we can make changes to get a reading. Yeah. And I'm just going to hope, we, we might not be able to be out there for long enough. But we might be able to be just enough to get another reading. And if not, we don't lose anything, because it's the best we can do. Level 2 race trim, 
level one mediums. In comes Casino with Lahane behind. You can see how much higher Casino's setup knowledge is than Lahane. It's the one thing he does well. Ugh. We did really screw up his ballast. Okay, so. Probably want a little more understeer. And then a lot more low speed. Yeah, I said it was too much low speed, but he was wrong. Okay. A lot more low speed. Something like there. Ish. Yeah. That's what I want to try. And Lahane is really close, which is great. We've got, yeah, 98%. We just want to lock in that ballast. So we went from good to great. And let's just try there. And once we get that done, we can try to adjust these. Let's not worry about doing that at the moment. That way we get a quick change for him. He goes out on the track with about a minute, so he's going to be able to get around about half the track here. And yeah, here comes more rain, right at the end. He, he is going to get a reading from that, and so does Casino. So, that'll help us make some adjustments. Okay, so everybody else was able to set a bunch of faster times. And yeah, we the only people we beat were the ones on Inters. But the good news is like we weren't that far behind, like Richard and Tassi and these here, so we shall see. Hopefully we can firm things up as we head into qualifying. So we have a fan, Brian McEwen says, put a big bet on us to quote, do the business, you'd better deliver it. Well, unless by do the business, you mean finish dead last with zero points? You're going to be out some money, sir. Good weather, 29 degrees. No sign of rain later. Forecast didn't call for it. We definitely want to firm up our stuff here. 90%, that's better for Casino, but we're not there. We've hit the speed. We've had the speed. Okay, so we went from great to great and then to good. So you probably want in between these two for handling. And then poor, very poor, and good. If that's poor, and this is good. I think we might want even more low speed. I think that's where we're at on this. So if I go like there, about there for handling, and then, goodness, I want to bring this back all the way. Let's try that. That'll be your starting setup. And here went from 98 to 96. And the main thing 
is the corner. We still haven't nailed that. Good. Great. Great. I don't know which direction is better, but let's just send it a little bit more that way. And then this was, yeah, okay. So if I do that, let's just see what works out here. We're going to do a quick start and stop. We might have time for two of these, might only have time for one. Probably have time for two, if we have reasonably quick pit stops. Two would be two would be cutting it close. Ninety-eight percent, not quite there on the speed. The speed was there, 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 and then we missed it up. So we need a little bit more top speed without screwing the rest of this up. Should be able to do that. Okay, we're gonna switch tires. I just want to, I want to wait for the track. Well, you know what? I'm not going to gain that much by waiting. Okay. Never know there could be rain later. Yeah, that's just a tiny bit off here. Let's see how... I want to compare that. Let's bring that back with Yeah, I don't really want to I don't want to do that much. I want to do maybe What about the handling? See, we had great, great, good. So that was excellent, great, great. Okay. We want to keep the handling right about where it was. I just want the... How to get that up without... See if I do Let me try that. I think that's probably the best way to get there. Okay, gonna send you out. Then Lahane, what do you have to say? Ninety six, still not there. Still haven't been able to hit. Okay, this was good. That was great. Great. And great. So I think we want to go between here and here. Let's just try that. See if that gives us anything. And I did bring you back in at about three minutes. I think that's enough. I'm going to take the risk that that's enough. To 
going to be tight to get Lahane back out there and get him get a time. I'm definitely taking a risk, but I want to try to nail his setup. And of course, meanwhile, Casino going out with crappy form. Although at least it's improving up to 3.4. And he's going to try to set a time. Looks like Tassi that's sort of phase shifting through our vehicle. Casino set up for his run while Lahane with somewhat reduced but still good form. Oh, there it goes back up again. Pulls in to hit row and right about the time that I thought he would. 99% bingo. Switch tires and get back out there. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to make it. So we know it Worst, we're going to do 99 and 98 on the setup. Lahane's form rising at 8.1. No sign of rain. Looks like that's going to work out for us. Of course, we have no qualifying uh, trim. We have no tire boost. So... We still are not expecting great things from the qualifying session, but always do the best that you can manage. And there we go, Lahane at 8.5. While Casino, two seconds off the pace, finishing 22nd. Just ahead of Morbidelli, but not ahead of anyone else. Let's see if Lahane can do any better than that. Starting that final lap with about half a minute to go and already stuck in traffic. Uh. At least the traffic's starting to accelerate away from us, at least a bit. It's one of the nice things about having a car that sucks. Everybody's faster than you, there's only so much stuck in traffic that can happen. Boy, full second back after just one segment, though. Looks like we're going to end up very similar time to Casino. Yep. A couple tenths better. So, definitely be struggling at the back of the pack. And so, we're definitely... Yeah. It's definitely not looking good. Drivers were looking good as usual. You were watching something else, right? Tell me you're watching something else. And they're so excited they needed to use the bathroom. How wonderful. So 
So we're as close to last as you can be without actually being last. It's going to be really hot. Really hot plus the bonus on mediums. I'm definitely going to start both cars on mediums. And of course that 10% race trim. And maybe we can get away with a soft later for Casino. Maybe we want to, maybe we don't. That remains to be seen. Well, we got 99% and... 99%. Can't do, can't expect any better than that. So, yeah, I think... Boy, the hand only with a three. Really should be able to get away with it, though. You know, let's go. Let's start with the softs and see if we can push ourselves further up into the field for Lahane. Now, I don't think we can, but it's worth a shot. And then we're going to. It's going to be so hot at first. Let's go with push on the tire wear for Lahane. Okay, we're going to begin with Lahane at a 9. Wow. And Casino at a 5. Very nice. We're the only car near the back going to start on softs. And this could backfire on me. But what do we have to lose? Uh, there we go. Very nice. Very nice start. I want to watch that tire temperature carefully. But Lahane up to 19th. Already have gained a few positions. Whether we can hold them for any length of time is another matter. Yep, yeah, getting into the three wide. And, you know, it's often a case, did you pick the right car to fall behind or didn't you? 17th for Lahane. Driving very well. Casino driving decently, still in 23rd. Back off to push casino on your tires. 18th and 23rd. Lahane's form fading a bit and we're bracketing somebody there. McKellis it looks like. Yep, three wide into the turn and boy did we ever get the worst of that one. There's Lahane getting right back after it though into 18th. Oh, tire's going a little bit nuts. Let's, uh, let's drop back to conserve on both. Stick with the aggressive engine. 17th and 23rd. Weather is 35 and it's only going to get warmer. Go neutral for a bit here. And both drivers going to drop down to high now on the engine. And 
And as I mentioned last race, we're going to try to master... Oh my goodness, that was terrible. Everybody else spurted back in the other driving lane. But we're going to try to do our pushing early when it actually matters more. Oh good, Bill Lahane locked up. Didn't need that. And then we have, you know, a slightly lighter car for slightly faster driving later on in the race. Lahane trying to get by McKellis. Pulls to the inside of Oriola, at least for the moment. Narrowly getting that pass. We're going to have to drop back to conserve. And Casino has fallen back to last behind Tassi. Let's go neutral for a bit, see if that matters a hill of beans. So Casino a little below average, Lahane a little above average. Faster tires than everybody else around. Trying to take advantage of it. It's been up and down. Well, staying right on the back of McKellis. And then there's Oriolo, Oriola, excuse me, and Philippi right behind too. See the last maybe 40% of the field really bunched up. Meanwhile, Coronel off to a four second lead out in front. Well, hey, let's go neutral again here. Switch down to conserve for Casino. He's going nowhere and getting there fast, and Lahane is in trouble. Trying to hold off Oriola and not succeeding. And down to 4.8 on the driving as well. Thirty-six and likely to stay there. Track is going to gradually get faster. There is no sign of different weather. Of the wet variety. Casino flirting with Philippi. Looks like we made the pass. All right. That's something. Casino beating somebody. Lahane trying to hold off Tassi. And not really doing so. So now we're in 22nd and 23rd. And for all that, yeah, we're going to use faster tires on Lahane. He's a full one second ahead of Casino. That's not really getting him much. Figure Casino to come in around lap 19 or 20. And we now need to go back down to medium. We've done our run of burning 
the fuel. And Morbidelli was back there to start the race and is all the way up in 11th. But we started the race 22nd, 23rd. We're now 22nd, 23rd again. Difference, of course, being Lahane is going to need to come in. Well before Casino does. I'd like to get him to, like, lap maybe 14 or so. Oh, like Casino looking like going to lose a spot. Now trying to fight back against... Philippi and he wins that battle. And let's go conserve again. Looking pretty good on the tire wear for both cars, so I'm going to try to keep pushing as close to the max temperature as I can. Still 36. Still the track very slowly getting faster. Still the same positions. Driver form boosts up and down, but you know, close driving with our surrounding rivals. Not really a whole lot changing in any direction. Hain up to seven, and he's trying to pressure Oriola. He's just, you know, the tires are wearing out. And I want to come in before the tires. Oh my goodness. Well, um, all right. Don't worry about that anymore. Bad day for Lahane. Uh, he slams into the wall on uh, lap 10. So we'll ride along with Casino because he's the only driver we have left in the race. And given that, unless something more interesting happens, let's speed things along. And honestly, the biggest problem with this is I think less time to improve our cars because they're going to have to spend more... Oh, good. Good, now we're down to last. But we're going to have to spend more time repairing the cars after the race, I believe, because of Lahane. Now we'll have to 
check into that. Well, uh, he is dumb. Nobody told me not to juggle the brake discs. And that was a very juggle the brake discs type of turn. We haven't anybody crashed in a few races. Can't say that now. I'm looking right on the mark or maybe just a hair short on fuel with Casino. I'd like to get to lap, I think, 19 or 20. Yeah, I think we're pretty much right on the nose with the fuel there. We're also now fading compared to Philippi. If you look at tires, 63%, we're at 56. So really the tire wear is probably as big of a factor as any. Casino, not the smoothest driver that ever lived. And we're paying for that. question here is essentially can he beat anyone and the answer is probably no. And our first few drivers coming into the pits. We got ahead of a couple of them, temporarily. No point in arguing about coming out behind Compt because softer tires and all that. Let's go conserve until we lose that gap, I think. And I'll try to go back to neutral to hold it off. Until it's our turn to come in. Hey, Casino's up into the sixes in terms of form. So he's driving well. Certainly driving a lot better than Lahane, who is done for the day. Down to two seconds now. Gap behind, even though Casino is driving better. Of course, they have fresher tires, so that would be expected. 7.2. And Huff is going to have to do repairs, so those are always the kinds of things that give one hope. A couple cars banging into each other, look, coming out of the pits. But Huff is still in there. You know, up to 18th and up to 7.8 for him. He's like, I've got the spotlight. I'm going to show them and show them what I can do because they're going to fire me at the end, of the end of the season anyway. But, you know. Second and a half back to Nagy. You can see the gap about 30 seconds back to Huff. Not entirely out of the question that we could beat Huff. The other ones are going to pass us. Once the, yep, okay, now we need to go back up to neutral. But once we come in. We'll slow this down to double speed. Trying to hold off Nagy and Tarkini and Muller. A little three pack behind Arturo Casino. The fuel still looking just a hair short, but really close. A 
I think we're doing well enough to hold them off. Boy, it's tight, but I'm going to make the stop here. I'm going to switch to fresh tires. Balanced, 11%. We may have a shot at a pit stop record. And yeah, we've lost a couple seconds to Huff. These last few laps, up to 8.8. .8. I think that's going to be, it's either going to be a record or it's going to be really close. We're out in 22nd. Wow, nine seconds ahead of Huff. Okay. Yeah, let's stick on neutral. We're at 8.9. Let's go ahead and speed up. And now Casino is basically just going to try to outlast everybody. 12 seconds behind Hamola. Huff had to repair and we didn't. That's the difference there. Coronel in the lead ahead of three cars who haven't even stopped yet. That's how f much of a laugher this race is turning out to be up in the front. Panis, the only car with any kind of chance, 10 seconds back, so not really. And 19 laps to go for Arturo Casino. Of course, the gap to watch is that one behind him to Huff. Eight seconds plus. Form dropping now to just eight. Let's back off the tires some here. There's really nobody on either side of us. So no reason not to just keep speeding through the rest of us, I don't think. Cornell continuing to pull away from the field. Let's just see a little bit of that blazing form. From Tom Cornell of Boots and Ginian, or however you pronounce that team name. A slightly um, yellowish slash puke green car there. But yeah, definitely the class of the field. Meanwhile, Casino has lost some time now, down under eight seconds. And let's go neutral again. No real change in how the fuel's looking, but Casino's form continuing to drop, which does not bode well for his chances of staying ahead of Huff. On the other hand, the tire comparison, 81% to 73, so his tires are still better, but that gap, his gap is going to continue to close. Go back to conserve. The question is, can we hold this off as Huff charges on us for the rest of the race? And does it matter in the grand scheme of things? No. We're going to make it happen if we can, regardless.
Oh, look at that. Well, let's go neutral. Let's see if we can hold off any of this for any significant length of time. Hey, we just got our answer. But Oriola now behind us. So it was still in 21st. Just go conserve, let them have their space. And they're on faster tires anyway. Okay. I'm going to slow down again because we've got more cars pitting. See if there's any drama with these. And no, it looks like a whole group of them that just came ahead of us. You see Compt has pit twice. Still has no problem staying ahead of us. And I don't see anybody else coming in anytime soon. Huff is definitely closing in though. Three seconds and change. It's not looking good for us to hang on to that. Probably dropping back to 62nd, or 22nd rather. But Huff ahead of us, Oriola behind. So, 22nd. Now, that hasn't happened yet. I'm not giving up on it. But at the rate that Huff is closing, it looks like it will. Of course, not closing at the moment, but closing overall. Over half of the gap that we did enjoy is not there anymore. Drop back to conserve. I think this time I want to keep it on conserve till we get down to a second. So we can do an extended range at neutral once that gap is gone. And boy, that's not going to be long, is it? It's down to just over two seconds, but then we had a decent spurt there. I think we're gaining just enough fuel that we're going to be okay. Still two seconds. wonder what the tire gap is. Now we're at 57. Puff at 51. So the tire gap is closing as well but we still have the advantage. Reasonable park condition with only a handful of laps left to go. Now it's closing up. There we go. We're going to go neutral. Huff was right up behind us, but now Casino pulling away a little bit. I'm going to slow it down. And try to just micro this tire up and down a little bit more.
yeah, almost a second and a half. So if we can stay on conserve, maintain any kind of a gap there, there are only a few laps left. Not out of the question we can hold on to this, and we're not falling that far behind Richard here. Actually pulling away from Huff despite being on conserve at the moment. This is looking like it's going to be a nice drive for Arturo Casino. Actually beating a couple of other drivers, which it doesn't normally do. Of course, we did give him a little bit better spoiler, but that shouldn't have made a huge difference on this track. Okay, well, we got plenty of tire temp left. Which is a good thing because it's now down to under a second. Four laps to go, and the push is on by Huff. Higher gap, we are at 44. Huff at 38. So that, that stayed about the same. It's narrowed slightly, but not by much. Oh, Casino down now to five and a half, so his driving, not what it was. Okay, let's try to back off a bit to conserve here again with three laps to go. Oh my, Hamola pitting right here at the end of the race. But coming out a few seconds ahead of us. Let's go neutral. Boy, I think I might have done it too late. Yep, lost the spot. I don't know that I could have held it, but I noticed it like the gap was closing a little bit too late there. That's unfortunate. But Huff is clearly the out the faster car, so it's hard to get too upset about it. Four more seconds back to Oriola. We go high for the final turn, not that it'll matter. Oh, I don't know. I really didn't expect much more. And you, Nate, you probably shouldn't either, Casino. So our first crash of the year, indeed, of the career... Won't be the last time. Sure, Philippi dropped four places. Not quite enough for Casino to benefit. Also, Caught Cheating is 
Montero, and that's more painful as that goes from third to fifth after getting in pole position. Hmm. Maybe there's a hint as to wow, how we were able to get that pole position. Cornell fastest lap and the winner. Really no question who the class of the field is with a 13 second win. And we stay at the bottom. And they cheer us. I spend my money on your stupid hats and t-shirts and shirts and this is the best you've got? WTF. Have you not been paying attention? Did you not realize that, you know, we suck? You know, you really should... <laughs> you really should not buy our apparel if you have no idea that we're a terrible team. I'm just saying. Inform yourself. Be an informed consumer, Heiko Steger. Okay, well, Casino with a 6.0, which is best race since early in the year. 22nd is actually better than dead last the last two races, and dead last in Tondela the first time around. Lahane, 6.6. Pretty good race until he crashed. And that was yuck. And it's the first time all year that Lahane has finished last. It doesn't actually get the penalty because of the crash for some reason. Okay, so 12th. Marketability goes down again. And we only make 30k, even with that 250 bonus. So, yeah. Well, we survived another race. Lahane didn't get to finish it. Oh well. And it'll be our fourth race in a row that is either Tondela or Munich, as we did the second time at Tondela here. And we'll be going back to Munich for the second one before the final two races of the year, but there's only three more. It will be starting to work, I think, a little more heavily on maxing out one of each part going forward. Second run of Munich is up next. Till then, thanks for watching, everybody. More Motorsport Manager will be coming up soon.